Greetings, I'm here to bring us the new moon forecast for our new moon in Virgo taking place on Monday, September 6th at 6.52 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. And here in this forecast, we will be gaining the guidance and the messages to assist us with most successfully traversing the energies of this new moon. I am already shuffling my Morgan Greer deck. I already have the first two cards. And the first card is going to be the theme for this new moon. The theme for this new moon is the High Priestess. So our theme is all about our intuition. It's, a, it's about the secrets and mysteries that lie within the depths of ourselves. Paying attention to those secrets, paying attention to those mysteries, being willing to delve into the depths of yourself and trust what you find there, looking at yourself honestly and trusting your intuition, trusting your feelings, trusting your visions, trusting the ideas that you have about how to move forward in the way that is most positive for you, most beneficial for you. And the next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. These are two of my favorite cards. And the Nine of Pentacles is going to be our guidance. This is a really beautiful reading so far. I'm loving these cards. The Nine of Pentacles is offering us the guidance that we need to get to this High Priestess vibe, to get to this High Priestess uh, aspect of ourselves, this high priestess archetype of ourselves. So what the Nine of Pentacles is telling us is that in order to access the deeper areas within ourselves, in order to fully, more fully integrate the high priestess archetype within our total personality, we are to become more embodied to find ways to be more strongly connected to our physical body, to find ways to move energy through our physical body, find ways to express creatively, to interact more with the environment around us, the world around us, the plants around us, the animals around us, the spirits around us, connect to earth energy in a way that it really translates to and flows through your physical self. So we're talking about the physical connection between your physical human body and the earth around you and the everyday life, the mundane, everyday, practical life, the hard surfaces that we come up against that make up our physical existence. We're talking about embodiment. We're talking about how we are brought into physical manifestation and the aspects of the world around us that are physically manifested. So how are we interacting with those, um, those aspects of the world? How are we connecting to the earth? But also in a broader context, how are we connecting to our everyday physical life? This means our homes. This means our environment. It means the food that we eat. It means the plants that we see. It means the people that we see. It means how do you respond to a tree? Do you notice the trees? Okay, these are the things that we need to um, have a conscious relationship with this month. So there are so many areas within that earth energy. It's really important that you find what most resonates with you and how you can allow your body to be more engaged with that earth energy. How can you get some of that flowing more fluidly through your physical self, really viewing your body as a conduit for life. If we view our bodies as a conduit for life, this seems simplistic on the surface, but it means that we're able to channel energy through our bodies. 
And channeling this energy through our bodies allows us release. It allows us to become unstuck in areas where we have been stuck. It allows us to have new awarenesses of ourselves. It allows us to release emotions. It allows us to express creatively. It allows us to do whatever it is we most need as well as whatever we intend. So if we most need to release an old uh, emotional energy, we can do that through moving energy through our bodies. If what we most need is to express an aspect of ourselves that has been repressed or neglected, we can access that part of ourselves through moving energy through our bodies. So this month, our guidance is to move energy through our bodies, to celebrate our bodies, to celebrate our physical existence. One way that we can do that is through celebrating our environment. Beautify your environment. Create a beautiful space in your home and spend some time celebrating life there. And celebrating means anything that it means to you. Maybe it means prayer. Maybe it means laying down on a blanket and listening to music. Maybe it means making a three-course meal. Find a way to celebrate life and to celebrate the fact that life flows through your body and play with that. Play with the concept of your body as a conduit, not just for life, but for life flowing energy, life affirming energy. There's something that needs to be worked with and tweaked there that's going to allow you this deeper connection to your intuition and this deeper connection to the mysterious part of yourself that puts you in charge of your life in charge of your life in terms of being a co-creator of your reality, being in partnership with the universe to create your reality. So this is how we're going to get there by playing with, experimenting with, and thinking about, contemplating, and exploring the way that energy moves through our bodies this might mean doing a lot more movement or a little more movement. It might mean moving your body in new ways. Really see how you can get into this. It could be with energy work. It could be with chakra work. It could be with creative expression. It could be with dance. There are many different ways to explore this. And this new moon reading is brought to us by my patrons via Mystic Men Membership. They do sponsor this reading and make it available to you every month. If you would like to receive this new moon forecast one week in advance, the Mystic members do receive that every month. You can click the links below the video to check that out. And now I'm going to pull two more cards that are going to show us a little bit more detail about how these energies are going to be affecting us in our everyday lives. So where is this going to show up in our everyday lives? This is going to give us a clue about what to look for in our everyday lives. And we will delve more into that in just a moment. I'm just going to boot pull two cards. I'm seeing the six of pentacles so far. I like that. Lots of balance, lots of reciprocity, maybe even some surprises, some surprise gifts. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. And I'm seeing the king of rods. That's an interesting card to see here. So what we're talking about with this six of pentacles and this king of rods are the ways in which we're going to gain a new viewpoint of this guidance, the way in which this guidance can be applied to practical aspects of our everyday lives. So the Six of Pentacles is about um, balancing the inflow versus the outflow of energy. So, Paying attention to where energy is flowing well in your life and where it may be stuck in your everyday life. 
And the king of rods is all about what is most important to us. What we are feeling most aligned with in our hearts, what we are passionate about, and also what we want to express about ourselves, what we're most, most passionate about expressing as um, a major part of our experience or a major part of our um, experience of life, as well as a major part of how we want to show ourselves to the outside world. So things that we really feel strongly connected with and things that we really strongly identify with within our personalities as well as in terms of what we have experienced in life. So what we're looking at here is that there may be areas of life that you feel very passionate about or where you want to, you have a strong need to express yourself or a strong need to share yourself. And that area or those areas may be feeling out of balance in terms of your ability to actually follow through on the expression or follow through on the passion or take the action that is needed. The strong desire is there but the ability to follow through with the action or the appropriate steps or to meet the passion with the appropriate physical energy, that feels blocked, that feels stuck, that feels unbalanced, and it feels like, it feels heavy, and if you pay attention, you can feel it in your body. That is what the Nine of Pentacles is here to tell us. And so when you're feeling that, when, you're, when you notice that area of your life that feels this way to you or where this is, is happening, this is unfolding, then you know that your guidance is actually to work with that energy in your physical self and to find ways to allow more energy to flow through your body through movement and through expression and it may feel to you like it's not connected, but it is connected. So it's not that you're necessarily going to feel the tension in your body when you are in this particular circumstance or when you are coming up against this particular challenge, which I have mentioned, but your body is going to be the answer especially in terms of how your energy flows through that body. It's going to give you the freedom. You're going to um, become unstuck in this way and be able to flow forward. And the result of this is that it's going to affect many areas of your life, not just this one area of your life where you really need the assistance. Of course, it is going to help in that area, but it's going to affect many areas of your life, including allowing you a deeper connection to your intuition or your psychic connection or your spiritual connection, as well as allowing you a deeper understanding of and appreciation of yourself, especially those um, the mystery of yourself, the hidden depths of yourself, right? So this is the part of ourselves that is really um, eternal, the part of ourselves that is really connected to the spark of life, our souls, being more connected with and more in awe of our souls and having a deeper understanding of how that connection works, but also how we can tap into it on an everyday basis in order to enrich our lives. So really, really beautiful guidance here for this Virgo new moon, and I'm wishing you many, many blessings. Be well.